heard of the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland? Well, Nessia's company, just when you thought it was safe to go into the water, Frank Grimes has exclusive footage, video and photographs of Nessie's cousins. Yes, it does appear to be some kind of creature from the deep. And so does this. Two separate yet equally strange sightings, 200 miles apart, and both in the vicinity of the legendary Loch Ness. And there are experts who are inclined to believe they may be real, or at the very least, beyond explanation. It does seem to be very long, which is kind of unusual to see something like that on video. There is a resemblance to an alligator or crocodile. I don't think that means it was an alligator or crocodile. Nick Taylor is in the middle of this latest rash of sightings. He's a photojournalist from Edinburgh, Scotland. But a trip to the lake called Loch Lomond a few months ago turned him into a hunter. There had been stories going back for many years about this. Um, so I thought it would be worth checking out. Nick Taylor spent three days in a camouflaged tent on the edge of Loch Lomond, watching and waiting. When the waiting got too much, he threw out some bait. It worked. It was dark. I was sitting reading and I had the candle lit and I heard an almighty splash just down there where I had the bait. Nick says he moved closer. And that's when I first saw the monster close up. It was a black sleep sort of object and it moved into this bay here. It was swimming quite slowly. It came into the bay and it went right down to the bottom of the bay. Wouldn't you know it? Nick Taylor says his camera batteries ran out. But he didn't. I was totally amazed. So I managed to actually creep just down there. I crept right down to the water's edge. And I, I'm fairly sure that I saw its head. I mean, it was like, made a big movement. Its head was roughly the shape of a crocodile. It's triangular, but its head was much deeper. It was much, much deeper. I, I, I really couldn't say what it was like. The nearest thing I could say it was like it was like a Tyrannosaurus. And that was it. It was gone. And Nick Taylor is not the only one. And it was about 18 inches in width. And I would say it was between five and seven feet long. As soon as I seen it, I panicked and started swimming for the shore. Five years ago, William Longwell had a harrowing encounter with the beast. It just kept swimming by me. But it was just that close, I could have reached out with my hand and actually touch it. But obviously I went the other direction. <laughs> I, I got a scare when I seen the size of it. We showed this footage to cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman. It looks like some darkness there. Maybe it's a head sticking up and then it gets over to the edge and you see something very long. I think there are probably some large unknown mammals that look like seals. They have longer necks, and those are some of the lake monsters. Uh, this may be one of them. I'm not sure. Uh, it's certainly an animate object in water, and it's unknown as far as I know. David Heppel is a cryptozoologist from Scotland. One of the shots I, I saw certainly had a superficial resemblance to an alligator or crocodile you could see what looked like a snout and, and two eyes. But it didn't move in the way that you'd expect a living alligator or crocodile. But they ain't seen nothing yet. Nick Taylor has something else up his sleeve. The amateur beast hunter has come up with something even more vivid, not too far away. They call it the Denby dinosaur. You'll see it captured when we return. And on the end of its neck was a small head, maybe a bit smaller than, a, say, a donkey's head size. And it seemed to have a long tail. And stick around to see what Julie Strain finds in strange San Francisco. And Starship Dookie. 
We don't even have a battery powered car yet. I don't know when we'll be able to talk to aliens. Numbers. Nick Taylor caught more than one lake monster. Frank Grimes has more exclusive footage. Not long after Nick Taylor videotaped this mysterious creature at Loch Lomond in the Scottish Highlands, he was on the trail of another one. There was word that an actual sea monster had been spotted in a lake called Lynn Aled in Denby, Wales, about 200 miles away. Nick Taylor apparently lucked out again. I drove up there, parked the car, and as soon as I got out of the car, I actually saw something in the water at the back of the lock. And it was definitely moving around. I mean, it was definitely alive. These are the images he captured. I would say it was about 18 to 25 feet long and on the end of its neck was a small head maybe a bit smaller than a, say a donkey's head size and it seemed to have a long tail uh, maybe another 10 feet from the hump to the tail the beast got the name of the denby dinosaur it's pretty remarkable footage again we showed the video to our consultant, cryptozoologist, Lauren Coleman. It had a very reptilian look to it. So uh, it's got me guessing. It's, it's really a good footage. You know, I, I'm really kind of shocked. One person who's convinced is Nick Taylor. And he's still out there waiting to capture it again. But I saw it with my own eyes. And I filmed it. And it is really the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life, actually. Lock swimmers can breathe a little easier. The monsters have a history of nonviolence.